Femi Adeshino accuses General Ibrahim Babagenda of weakening the Nigerian army. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Special Advisor to President Buhari on Media and Publicity Femi Adeshino has narrated how the Nigerian army went from an institution of valor and bravery to the state of anything goes before President Buhari came to the rescue. Adeshino stated this in a post he shared on his Facebook page on Thursday, 18th of November, 2021. Adeshino, in an article titled No Longer an Army of Anything Goes, compared the Nigerian army to a fish which begins to rot from the head. He accused past leaders of the institution of deliberately formulating policies to weaken the army. He extolled the virtues of the Nigerian army in Burma, in Congo, and at different peacekeeping operations in many parts of the world. But according to Adeshina, by 1993, the, Ni the Nigerian army had deteriorated to become an institution where anything goes. He reminded Nigerians that many years before then, a police spokesman he identified as Alozie Obubwaja decried the state of the army, which he said that all the officers of the army knew, knew then was how to plan coups. Drink beer and eat pepper soup. He revealed that in 1993, the pepper soup was almost no longer there because General Ibrahim Babangida, who was a former chief of army staff, had rendered the institution prostrate and comatose to the extent that it was almost not able to shoot firecrackers, not to talk of guns of shooting light or heavy weapons. But by the time Salih Ibrahim spoke in 1993, the pepper soup was almost no longer there. General Ibrahim Babangida, incidentally a former chief of army staff himself, had rendered the institution prostrate and comatose, so much that it was almost not able to shoot firecrackers again, not to talk of guns, lights, or heavy, he said. Furthermore, he stated what Babangida started was worsened by Sani Abacha and Olusha Gobasanjo, who were generals of the Nigerian army. Adeshina further said the state of the army did not get better until subsequent presidents, until President Muhammad Buhari took over. He said Buhari came. He came and put an end to the story of anything goes in the Nigerian army. Adeshina disclosed that it is on record today that no Nigerian leader has trained, equipped and motivated the army as much as Muhammad Buhari has done. Um, hey. <laughs> The question that um, is going to be thrown at um, this particular special advisor to the president is going to be, okay, I'm not arguing with you. You are saying he motivated. You are saying things are going well, especially the army that, you know, it is, it is in its time that the army is or was now revived. Then let us see proof, right? If you are saying something, you have proofs to back it up. Why is it so difficult for the army to, to defeat the Boko Haram? Why? <laughs> what is this that is there? If you're coming out to claim that he's motivating, he's doing all he can, and you know, you're speaking all this plenty, plenty grammar, no problem. Nobody's going to argue with you. But the, the question is how? Why is it that they are unable to quash the Boko Haram once and for all? Why? Am I even talking about the Boko Haram? What about the bandits? What about the unknown gunmen? Why have they not been able to march? I think I thought that they sent them to the southeast region, and yet these people are still parading as if there is no military troops there. According to the news, because it is like the went there and innocent people started dying the more. They should come out and say what is the problem. I think that should be done. No problem. You are saying you are this, you are that, you are good. No problem. Let us, it is not only for you, a farmer, to come out and say, have this and have that. Take us to the farm. Let us see for ourselves. That is what Nigerians will tell you. You have this particular crop. You planted it to grow, it to blossom. Okay, let's go and see how it is growing. Let's go and see how it is germinating. If you are claiming, you are motivating, you are doing this, all those things are unnecessary. You will not, be, you will not have the time to come out and say you are doing this and that, if truly you are doing them and if truly they are working, people will be the one to come out and say, 
oh yes yes the, the, the government did this and you know since he did this it has been going on well it is people that will come out you don't blow your trumpet you don't get to blow your trumpet all the time because it's going to look boastful, especially when you are blowing it and <laughs> the reason for you blowing it is not seen you will be seen as a noisemaker that is just the truth That is the truth. Alozi Obubuaja, the then PPRO, identified three ills in the army at that time. Drinking beer, taking pepper soup, and planning coup. Additional left out the worst of the ills, which was planning coup, which Buhari specialized in and was talking about pepper soup. Those who killed professionalism in the army are the coup plotters, especially those who overthrew a democratically elected government just like his Ogadi to Shagari. Oh my God, they have murdered him. <laughs> hey, are you, are you listening to this? They have murdered him. They have murdered... Uh-uh, you see, eh? That's, that's what I'm saying. If you're coming out to blow your trumpets, make sure that this thing you are blowing the trumpet for is not invisible to others. It's just like you're coming out to say... Mm, how am I going to put it now? Ha! Huh. Oh, goodness. For instance, for instance, there is this particular person that a child, um, a children knows that this person is scary. And just one person, the person's partner now, maybe partner in crime, partner in bullying, comes out and you're always singing the praises. Oh, that this person now, you know, this person is a good person. And the children will be like, they'll be looking at you. <laughs> Who was this one saying? The good person, this person that used to bully everybody, because it is only it is invincible to them. That part they are not saying is because he is a bully to them. That is just it. If you're going to come out to say this has happened and you have been going to, you're going to be making so much, you know, noise about it. They will not say it is a lie. Just make sure that you have your facts together. That this thing you are saying, really, as you are saying it, that is how it is. If Adeshina knew very well that General IBB and other retired army, including President Muhammad Buhari, were colleagues, he could have realized that his statement was a direct ridicule of President Buhari himself.